Be fun to get some of those features out there, right? Yeah, how are you with uh, pumpkin carving? Mm, I'd say I'm pretty good. Pretty I don't good. do anything crazy. I usually just do the triangle eyes and then like a zigzag face. You, you first sketch it out before you cut it? No, I just go for it. Wow, look at that. A you? Little, uh, I'm terrible at it. I mean, I, once you stick it in, if you carve it out, yes, but I can't just be like, you know, just design See it, it and without. just go bam. Yeah, I'm not an artist whatsoever. You know? <laughs> so give me a sketch. I can kind of go with it. Just like building Legos, you get a manual, you kind of get an idea. Okay, this is kind of what it has to look like. Temperatures yesterday did manage to get up into the lower 70s. Started off pretty gloomy yesterday with a lot of the low lying clouds. Thinking maybe are we going to see more rain showers by the afternoon and evening. We finally broke out into more sunshine. How about this off towards the west? Still 90 degree temperatures in Bismarck. It doesn't certainly feel whatsoever like early October weather with high pressure now in store winds coming in out of the south. But this tropical disturbance, uh, an area of low pressure that moved in from the Gulf of Mexico. This is our next weather maker that's moving straight up to the north. So it does have a little bit of time before it arrives here, but it will be increasing some cloud cover as it does so. And there's a few showers and storms associated with it, but not anticipating any severe weather, just a few showers and perhaps a couple rumbles of thunder, especially when we get towards this time of the year. Organized severe weather is really not that common, especially up into our neck of the woods. But considering how warm it's been, I mean, you never know. As we go into the rest of tonight, we'll have mostly sunny skies, but getting into the overnight clouds start to increase. And by tomorrow, we'll have some scattered rain showers building in here. It doesn't look to be complete washout, but you'll see how we have some of these bands of showers and periodic heavy uh, showers and embedded thunderstorms at times. Uh, as we get into Friday, that area of low pressure, another slow moving low pressure system. So we'll still hold on to a couple more rain showers as you go into our day on Friday. Rainfall totals and prospects, it doesn't look that significant, but really wherever uh, some of those heavier showers end up sitting up, could be picking up around a quarter to a half inch for more of the heavier shower activity. 53 right now, and if you look at our tower cam, you see some of this haze off towards the Austin Travel Airport. There is some patchy dense fog out there and some visibility is down to under a mile. We've got 48 in Pembine, 55 in Appleton, 56 in Wapaka, 59 in Surgeon Bay, and it's 54 in Manitowoc with winds pretty calm, light, about three to five miles per hour at most. And with the calm winds, clear skies, that's why we got that patchy, dense fog down to three quarters in Green Bay. Same thing in uh, Manitowoc, half mile in Appleton. It is three quarter of a mile in Menominee. Today we'll get up into the lower 70s, mostly sunny skies. We'll have light winds off the lake at about five to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, uh, tonight we'll cool off to 57, northeast winds at five miles per hour. And then a chance of some light rain showers tomorrow, 70, east winds 5 to 10. So the chance of rain continues as you head into the next uh, couple days. Friday, same thing, 71. Then as you get into the weekend, looks like partly cloudy skies for Saturday before another chance of rain arrives here on Sunday and another one on Tuesday. So while we are going to be staying above average, that real dry period of weather, Abby, that we had like last week with all mm -hmm. those 70s, it looks like it's going to be more of an increased chance of rain as we head into the next week or so. So get your little um, markers out to see how much, right? What I'm trying to think of the You mean a rain, rain gauge? gauge? There we go. Your thanks. markers. <laughs> All right, thanks, Gino. Up next, if you've been in the market for a new vehicle,